women are working very hard. I think that has to be established because there's the idea that unless you have a job outside the home, you don't work. <coughs> you, you don't get wages, therefore it's not work. In fact, women work very hard and they work harder when they have less money because there's more you have to do to make up for the fact that you, don't, you can't cover the expenses or can't easily cover them. So um, women have to worry about feeding their children if they have children. And the, let's take the, the mother who is dealing with a very low income she has to not only feed her children, but she has to feed her children something that's nourishing, which is not easy to do. You can't afford organic food if you're on benefits or if you have a low wage. You have to be satisfied with very much less, and so do your children. You have to worry about the, the rent. Um, that's really a major problem. A woman the other day just came and said, look, I have to work, I have to leave my baby, I have to work at least three days a week, and that's only because the rent is so high. I'm working for the rent. And she then has to find a babysitter who will take care of her child in ways that will not offend her and upset her and worry her, which is a problem all by itself. And it also is, she has to be able to afford that babysitter and it has to be worthwhile going out to work to pay for the childcare from her wage. A lot of women, they give sexual services to get through. Uh, the landlord may lower the rent, I've known women like that, or they, do, they work on some sex line. Another woman told us, you know, a few weeks ago because they weren't paying her benefit and they had some reason not to. Um, she just began to work on a sex line to feed her children. And women go out to the street. Women put up with domestic violence because to leave the man, you won't be able to make it without him. So you grin and bear it. 